volunteering changes your life. Um, you have certain ideas and we all get caught up in the daily rush to try and achieve this, that and the other in our lives. But when you take the time to sit back and think uh, how other people cope and you see how other people cope and you, you know, each of us have a, has a strength within us that allows us to influence other people. Everyone has a strength and if you use that strength to help someone else and you see the effect that that has on people, it gives you even more strength and it helps you to, to cope with any issues that you have. My cousin introduced me to this girl who was in a wheelchair and I had never met anybody I said earlier who had been in a wheelchair and um, he asked me to ask her up to dance and I wasn't too sure what to do. I was terrified because I didn't know, do you hold her hands, do you, do you hold the arms of the wheelchair, do you stand behind the wheelchair, I mean I just didn't know what I should do. She just started laughing. It was kind of at that moment then I began to realise that <coughs> some of those preconceived fears I had um, were, were not justified. It's not so much about feeling good about getting out and volunteering, but it's what you get from it, which is a lot more than you can even describe to somebody who's not involved in it or who, who doesn't see it firsthand. About two and a half years ago, my daughter was diagnosed with leukaemia and uh, we fought a pretty hard battle for about nine months. And I asked, you know, is there a children's hospice here in Ireland? You know, that could help. And I was astonished, absolutely astonished, to find that Republic, the Republic doesn't have a children's hospice. If I don't go up on a Sunday, Sunday is primarily the day I, I help out. If I'm not there on a Sunday, I feel like I've missed out on something. When you start volunteering, you can't imagine not volunteering. I can't imagine stopping doing, doing the work with Dublin Simon. To me, it's like having a second family, albeit a pretty large and dysfunctional second family. I always wanted to bring a child from Chernobyl into my home. It's just something that I always wanted to do. So when the opportunity arose and I had the space in my home to do it, I volunteered. It helps keep Beth's memory alive. You know, it keeps fe her feel me, me feeling that there's a bit of a her still around, you know, in that society, that people around me acknowledge her. And then also there's a lot of companionship uh, with the people who would then volunteer and, and put some of themselves on the line alongside me. It makes me feel whole I suppose is the best way to describe it. I get to do something I really really love with people that I, I classify as really really good friends. You're giving something that um, other people had done for either for me when I was a young person or indeed for my kids so you're giving something back I suppose. I don't ever stop to think about it in terms of how it impacts my life or what I'm missing out on because I spend all this time with the club. I think the highlight for me was when we visited the school and the headmaster took us into the classroom and uh, introduced us to the children. The children were all there working away on these laptops. Happy faces, everybody was really pleased. It's during the really bad snow in Dublin just there in January when it was down to minus 10. Uh, the super run volunteers and the homeless people seemed to be the only people out in the streets that evening. We got pretty much everybody housed so that, that felt like a good night. The Intel Matching Grant programme is a scheme where the Intel Foundation we will fund um, every volunteer hour donated to a recipient organisation with $10. The hours that Intel match have a huge benefit to organisations such as Dublin Simon who say for €2,000 can get somebody a shelter for 50 nights. I really like a volunteering at Intel because there's a lot of enthusiasm, there's a lot of encouragement to volunteer here and if you can push together in the same direction you know they can often come up with some great uh, ideas about how to fundraise, about how to contribute in unique, in unique ways. It's changed my life I suppose because it's changed Ben's life, my son's life. He's like an only child, so now he's more aware that there's children less fortunate than him in the world. He's more appreciative of what he has. I love the, the, the sense of shared purpose that, that everybody has. 
en en enthusiastic, uh, empowered, enlightened. Uh, one word. I, I suppose it, it is. It's enthusiasm. It's enthusiastic.